In this video I'm going to be showing you how to create your own DIY Fusion Drive in your Mac or Hackintosh. Apple offers the Fusion Drive as an option in most Macs now but you can also make your own with a standard rotational hard drive and an SSD. Before doing this make sure that you back up everything onto an external drive as you lose everything that's stored on the drives in the process of making the new Fusion Drive. To make my Fusion Drive I'm going to be using a Seagate Barracuda 2TB desktop drive and a SanDisk Ultra 2 120GB SSD. Unfortunately disk utility doesn't support the creation of Fusion Drives so you'll have to use the terminal which is found in the utilities folder under applications. In the terminal window you can type disk util list to bring up a list of all of the drives installed in your system which are listed as forward slash dev forward slash disk followed by a number. In my case I have five drives installed in my Hackintosh and the two drives I want to use are the 120 gigabyte SSD which is forward slash dev forward slash disk one and the two terabyte Seagate drive which is forward slash dev forward slash disk four. You need to make a note of these drive numbers because you'll use them in the next step. Now you need to make a new logical volume group containing the two drives. And to do that you just need to type disk util core storage create. Then a name for the volume group. It doesn't really matter what you choose but I'm just going to call it my LVG. And then the first disk in the group, which is your SSD, in my case forward slash dev forward slash disk one. And then the second drive in the group, which is your rotational drive, and in my case that's forward slash dev forward slash disk four. Now you can just press enter and OS 10 will create the logical volume group, which just takes a few seconds. Once it's finished creating the group you need to create the volume which is what OS X will be treating as a single drive and where all of your files will be stored. To do that you type disk util core storage create volume and then you need the long hexadecimal code that you got after creating the group. So you can highlight it with the mouse and press command and C to copy it and then command and V to paste it after create volume. Then you need to type the file system which will be JHFS plus followed by the name you want to give the drive. In my case I'm just going to call it Fusion and finally the size of the drive which you can specify as a percentage of the total space available. In my case I wanted to use all of the space available so I'm going to type 100%. Now when you press enter OS 10 will create the new drive and mount it and you should see the icon appear on the desktop. So now you can see on my desktop I have a new icon for a drive called Fusion with 2.11 terabytes available which is the 2 terabytes on the hard drive and 120 gigabytes on the SSD and then if we look under storage in about my Mac you can see my SSD, the new Fusion drive and my Windows and backup drives. So that's it for this video, thanks for watching.